All right, so welcome to a cheeky little video about what time trial helmet fits me best. Now, my mate James decided that he was gonna do his analysis on PowerPoint, he told me about it, and I thought, you know what, that makes an absolute great sense, as I can't get to wind tunnel, and I'm not gonna buy every helmet under the sun to figure out which one is quickest. So anyway, we're gonna go through all the helmets, gonna figure out which one's best. I've got some preconceptions, Obviously, at the end of the video, leave your comments below. Um, before we get off, like and subscribe to the vid would be very much appreciated. So, first helmet first, Cask Mistral. Now, traditionally a track helmet, but worn to many successes, such as world-famous time trialist Ronald Kuba. Uh, but also, I think Dennis wore it to Worlds in 2019, uh, and there's a sort of a similar one, which is the Cask Beluga, which is in between the Bambino and this. And it seems to test fast, everyone uses it. So I think, you know, it's it was probably my initial one that I thought was the best. You can see from my PowerPoint analysis, uh, it, potentially I made the helmet a bit too big, but you can see it sits on the back of my back quite nicely. Well, that's the plan anyway. Uh, visibility hopefully should be good, which means I can sort of get my head even lower and still actually see, because obviously with my current helmet, it's like a normal road helmet. And you can't actually see too much, which obviously is not ideal because we don't want to crash. Uh, one further note, I would say that in my position, it doesn't look very aero because my head's not as shrugged as it is, but normally my head is a little bit more shrugged. So anyway, that is the that one. Next is the Giro Arrowhead. So again, similar sort of design uh, in some regards. Quite short, not very long, a bit fatter, I'd say. Uh, and also, most probably, uh, vision better because I think the, the visor goes all the way round. It looks a bit higher as well. Um, hard to really tell. It doesn't sit, look like it's going to sit on my back perfectly. But again, I know that you can change how you wear it slightly so that it sits better on your back. But anyway, again, it's a bit of guessing with the angle of this. Obviously, you can see the strap is similar to the strap on my other helmet, on my road helmet, so maybe be okay. But anyway, this is defi definitely a con contender and significantly less expensive than the Cask, uh, uh, Cask Mistral. Next on the list, as I'm a massive fat Met fanboy, is the Met Drone. Hambini rates this very highly as it has, goes, apparently the air goes through here and comes out like an exhaust, and apparently that is very good to keep air blows separate, not uh, on your back. Hey, this, again, looks pretty good. It looks like it would sit on my back. Visibility looks pretty decent, to be honest. Um, it looks like it's pretty high. Again, maybe it won't sit on my back. Maybe it'll be like a fin in the air, but we'll, we'll show you a fin in the air in a minute because we have one of those coming up. So next, as you can see here, is the HJC. I don't actually know what it's called, but Victor Campanuts won it, wore it Sorry, uh, to get the hour record and wore it 55 kilometers an hour, so it can't be that bad. He wore no visor as well, which was interesting. Uh, I think for me, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a great fit because I don't really have a huge head. It looks quite wide. And also it doesn't look like it's gonna sit perfectly on my back, but maybe because of a huge visor, it's actually easier to take the head back and then it will. Again, it's all like a bit of guesswork because realistically what I should do is buy every single one of these helmets I'm gonna go through, go to an outdoor testing place, test them all and see if there's any difference. However, that would be a lot of effort and I don't have that much money to spend on helmets. Next is the Big Worry. Now, you might say, why is this the Big Worry? Well, it's the Pop Temple. And if anyone knows anything, Dan Bigham has made this helmet the most famous helmet in modern history, and everyone loves it. And every single mammal in the TT world wants one of these, and most of them have it now because they've started remaking it. And the issue is, it looks like it's a really good fit for me, but it's 330 quid, which I don't really want to spend. So, we're going to try and tear it apart, but I actually think it looks quite good. Like, it looks like it would sit on my back perfectly. It looks like the field of vision you can see here would be really, really good. Um, it's obviously quite wide, so it needs to sit on your shoulders properly, which is why often people say you need to have like someone actually set up properly, because otherwise it makes it really slow. But I think that could just be damn big and saying to try and get some more coin, which fair enough. But anyway, um, it looks it looks like it would sit on my back pretty well. I'm um, not gonna lie, it looks like there's obviously still quite a big gap. We need to close this gap. But anyway, nevertheless, I think it looks quite an attractive helmet. And if it wasn't 330 quid, if it was like 150, it probably would buy it. But 330 quid is a bit too much for my hour, for me, and I'm not sure I'm gonna be buying it for that reason alone. But if one came up super cheap or someone wanted to give me one, bock, uh, then yeah, obviously, obviously we'd give it a go. And the last one but not least is the laser. Now, you can see how I've tried to get it more accurate. I've actually copied someone's head in. I believe this is Wild Banana's head. And uh, the reason I've done this is because it sort of makes it more obvious what the laser would look like, but I think that's what the laser would look like. It would look like a shark's fin. So we're definitely not getting that. And you can sort of see the issues like, Obviously, I probably made the head a bit too big because that would be a huge head. But anyway, so if we go through them all, I think we can basically rule out this based on it doesn't look very fast. We can rule out POC because I don't have that much money. We can rule out HJC because it's also very expensive and also I don't think it would work that well. So I think it's basically between Cask, Cask Mistral, 
Giro Arrowhead, and Met Drone. Uh, if you've got any other Aero helmets, let me know. And also let me know if you think any of these are the best ones for me. And if you have an experience with them, because that'd be great. Um, but yeah, anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.